We've all seen your, your video, the, the one that kind of, I'd say, made you famous, you know? Yeah, the one that, that took off and they're still going off, like, even, even now. Yeah. I still get people tagging me and I'm like, oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the first year was nice, the second year was nice, and, I, and now it's like three, four years later, like, all right, come on. Yeah. I mean, some people might have not seen it, he's watching this. Yeah, it's a big and world. I know a lot of people have. Yeah, it's a big world. You, like, I, I'd be surprised if, I'm not surprised people haven't seen it because it always recirculates. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It's a feel. It's a what? You, what would you call it? A feel good video, isn't it? Like, it's yeah. not, not nothing negative about it. So, it's always going to circulate, man. And all right, so let's explain this. You were in Nando's, right? Yeah, that part. Yeah, that's the part. It's so mad. That's the part that I realized I need, I need to be more spontaneous. Okay. Because I remember I was just I was down that day. People were doing a little like creative link up. There was a bunch of creatives that were doing a link up. I didn't know anyone in that room, yeah? All oh, right. And I, I wasn't a photographer, I wasn't a videographer, I was in, and then I got to the link up and I realized all photographers and video, um, videographers. I'm like, what am I doing here, brother? <laughs> I thought it was like just people that wanted to make content. So I felt out of place, I didn't know what I was doing, I was just chilling. And then they said, you, then they said guys, if you want to come, we're going to go Nando's. I was like, all right. By the way, I only knew one guy, the guy who, who was recording me. Okay. And I didn't even tell him the video idea. That's why sometimes being spontaneous is good. I just told him, Whatever you do, don't stop recording. He goes, what are you going to do? I said, trust me. Whatever you do, <laughs> don't stop recording. Yeah. So I'll wait for my chicken to get served. That's after that, there was a viral video with an American guy saying, who made this burger? So I said, you know, let's make a UK version. Mm -hmm. After that, I, something just ticked. I just screamed at the top of my lungs. Oi! <laughs> but I did not know whether the guy was going to kick me out. Of the, like, I said, two things are going to happen here. Yeah. Either this is going to go very well. I'm getting banned, I'm getting kicked out, someone's calling police and everyone's telling me, you're an idiot, you're, you're, you know, why are you doing that? Yeah. Lucky for me, I was on the safe side, it went well. <laughs> Everything about that video went well. Who made yeah. this chicken? Who made it? Why? Son! Who made this chicken? Who made it? Why? Who made it? Why? Because I love it! And even the people that were doing all the creatives behind me, who didn't know me at the time, thought generally at the end of the like, bro, I thought you were actually vexed. I thought you actually gonna like flip the table or something. <laughs> but the, no, the one thing that no one saw that was off camera was the security guard. Oh. <laughs> there, was a, there was an uncle, security guard uncle. Yeah, when I screamed, yeah. I thought he was gonna come up to me. He left the store. He said, ah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> <laughs> he thought I was vexed. He fully left the store, bro. Wow. But he came and realized I, I, I wasn't angry. He's like, ah, oh, you confused me for a second. <laughs> That but was it was that, that made me realize it's, it's, it's worth taking the risk because I posted that yeah. and I didn't think nothing of it mm. of my life. I thought, I thought, yeah, I'm trying to post. Maybe my brethren might laugh. And some people are like, bro, I'm getting comments from I'm, international comments, love from Iran, love from New Zealand. I saw your a, a video in South Africa. Da -da 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 -da. Wow. Bro, is this how this thing works? That's when really ticked that. That was Instagram days, yeah. That's when it really clicked and made sense. I said, is it that easy to, to, to spread joy? Nah, fair enough, yeah. So, I mean, would you say that that's like a that was a big moment for you? A big change? That's, what, that's when it made sense, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's when it definitely made sense. That's, not, that's, that's when I, it felt good to, 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 to know that people found joy in my video. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. I, I never liked, and if you can see my content, I don't like to do any sort of negative hate attacking. If it's not positive, if it's not funny, I don't like to make it. It's got to have a little joke to it, it's got to have a little twist to it, but I don't, I'm not here to, to bring anyone down because, bro, there's enough hate in the world, man. Yeah, definitely. I agree. We only to, something like, well, the last thing you want someone to do is pull out their phone and see something that, 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 that makes them feel vexed or makes them feel angry, innit? Mm. I'd, rather, I'd rather you pull out your phone and you laugh a little or smile a little. No, it's good, yeah. I agree. Would you, would you say that, I mean, do you know how many views that got? Roughly? Boy, it's so many different platforms posted it. I lost track, I swear to God. Yeah. And even when it, even when it, when it reoccurred, I remember on TikTok, when I posted it on Twitter first. Okay. These days, Twitter was like the main app before. Yeah. Instagram was a, Insta was a bit down there and there was no TikTok these days, yeah? I, I, I posted it on Twitter first and it, and it hit like just over 20 million. 20 million? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of views. And then my, my Instagram blew up as well from it. Like, I, I, I turned on my phone, I went from like 600 followers to 10k overnight. Wow. And, th and this, was, this, was, this was like three or four years ago where it was hard. Yeah, yeah. It really like, 
hard to get followers because the algorithm wasn't really it was a really weird way back in the days, isn't it? Yeah. And then when I got TikTok, I posted it, and that helped my TikTok as well. Mm. But now, it's weird because now when you get attached to one thing, you're trying to drift off it. Yeah, that everyone remembers you. For yeah. That. That yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I understand that. But I mean, yeah, like you said, it's, it's a feel-good, you know, video. I, I hope to make another one like that. Well, at least, yeah. at least one, or, one or two more, just like that. But that one, that one was so spontaneous. That was one of the, it was too natural. No one knew besides me. So, like, it's hard to make something so, like, if you see most videos now where people try to make a natural, it's all acting, in it? Yeah. You'll see a video of someone trying to do a prank, and then it's like, ugh, this, you can tell, you can tell who's yeah. an actor and who's not. And that's what, that's what cringes me out sometimes. It's gimmicky, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not a fan of that. No, I get that. I do, I do get a lot of restaurants like, messaging me saying, hey, do you want to come to our restaurant and remake that video? And for the last three years, I said no. Why? Because it's not, it's not remakeable, bro. It, I'll tell you right now, and for everyone watching, it will be utterly cringe <laughs> if I do it again. It, won't be the, it will never have the same atmosphere, innit? Yeah. Like, it, it just won't be the same. That was so unique at the time. Yeah. It's not something, it's, there's something. I've seen a lot of people do this, yeah. I've seen that. And, in, not in the UK, but that happens a lot in America where somebody goes viral for one thing. And uh, my friend called it, he told me to be careful when I, like, he's, he, he's in media, he said, be careful, yeah? Don't get stuck in a pigeonhole. What he means is don't get known for just doing one thing. You remember yeah. the backpack kid? Yeah, I do. Was he doing that dance, isn't it? Yeah. And they rinsed him out. Yeah. To the point where now he tries to do something else, it's like, it's not really working now because you're just known for that. You're the backpack kid. Yeah. yeah no, I get you. That's and, true. And I never wanted to be like, known for just one thing. Mm. So if I did, in the beginning, if I did just say, say yes, 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 and I went to all, to all these restaurants, I was like screaming, who made this, who made this? That's all you'll really be known for, isn't it? Yeah. And then you'd be stuck into a small little bubble. And if you tried to like, come out of that bubble, I'd be like, no, 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 come back down here. That's what you're good at. Don't do anything else. And I don't want to be, I don't ever want to be that guy. Yeah, no, fair enough. I think a lot of people would, wouldn't hesitate to just, you know, take a quick paycheck and, and but like you said, I'm, I'm sure I'm thinking, get quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking longevity, man. I'm thinking, like, you know this game, this social media game, this, a lot of people think short term, but it's actually long term as well. Like, yeah. we're young, yeah, we're this generation of social media people. We, matter of fact, a lot of people, a lot of people don't deep this, bro. We're going to be the first generation who's probably going to have people in their 40s and 50s on social media. Yeah. That when we get older, there's going to be content creators who are 50 years old. Like we don't see them now, but we're going to be that generation, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. 